Dirty Gert by Ted Arnold. Little Gert loved eating dirt. The worms all idolized her. But how did she first get to be a soil internalizer? Way back when Gert was just a squirt, the earth would tantalize her. She rolled in it, she dug in it, she tasted it, didn't even spit. It seemed to energize her. Mom and dad did not get mad, they simply supervised her. As years went by, they try and try, but could not civilize her. And then one day she went to play when no one was the wiser. A rainstorm hit and quickly it completely moisturized her. She made mud pies with dirt french fries, her favorite appetizer. She burbled and she gurgled, and she sprouted and she shouted, and her food reorganized her. Quite soon she found herself root bound, it happily surprised her. Out came the sun. Oh wow, what fun! It photosynthesized her. Ruby May came out to play, but didn't recognize her. The neighbors thought that someone ought to scrub and sanitize her. Her brother Matt decided that he needed to disguise her. Her best friend Dwight thought that he might at least deodorize her. The local news sent camera crews, they filmed and televised her. The lawyers called, they were appalled, no one had legalized her. Zoologists and botanists and doctors analyzed her. Then Hollywood said, Gert is good, we must immortalize her. Soon all the ruckus, all the fuss began to traumatize her. First came her wilt and then her tilt, her fame had jeopardized her. But mom and dad, they're smart and true. They always knew just what to do. They trimmed and fertilized her. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please subscribe for more kids story time.